Hello beautiful seekers. This is Clarity 1129. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. It is a general reading and may not resonate with everybody. Though I have tried to keep my intent as broad as was possible to include as many number of people that I could. There are also four piles. So I do hope it resonates and can benefit as many people that uh, come across this reading. This reading is not a timeless one. Even though time is not linear, I have set an intent for this full moon uh, on 4th of August 2020 and so the uh, periods from the 1st of August to 8th of August approximately get covered within this reading. Full moons, as you know, are synonymous with endings, endings of cycles, of completions. So this is the right time to give yourself a pat on the back, uh, whether you think you've successfully uh, come, uh, finished a cycle or if you think you're still struggling. In fact, for those who are struggling and who've been through a real rough patch and are not happy with where they are, a double pat on, the, on your backs for braving this beautiful journey and carrying on with it. So in today's uh, reading, I plan to tell you where you stand in your journey and what are the things you'd like to look into during this time before you can set an intent uh, with the next new moon that is coming up. Uh, while all full moons are a great time to release and let go of old habits, patterns, situations, people that no longer serve us. Full moon in Aquarius is the time when the energy is twice as much or if you uh, would like to follow Yasmin Bolin's uh, moonology uh, book that it says it's thrice as much. The energies are thrice as strong as they are during regular full moons. Aquarius as you know is the visionary of the zodiac and known for their unconventional thought process, sometimes uh, even radical, they are known for their uniqueness. And so this is the perfect time for you to embrace that special and distinctive person that you are and shine your own light. This is the right time to do it. And that is why I have taken this card as the overall energy if you can see, this is the full moon in Aquarius and it says, show the world the real you. And so, let's get started with the readings. Take a deep breath. Relax. You, as you can see, there are four piles. Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three and pile number four. Whichever pile or piles you're instinctively drawn to, that is your pile. So without further delay, we'll start with pile number one, which is the Mystic Monday Tarot. I also have advice cards from the Moonology deck. I think pile number one and four have got two advice cards, whereas pile number two and three have only one advice card each. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords. Six of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. And Nine of Pentacles. Uh, I think I'll move this a bit. Okay. We begin with the Ace of Pentacles. What, in the last... Um, 
six months or so leading to this time you've been working on something and you have landed yourself with a beautiful offer it could be an offer of a, a new project or a new job a new project or something creative but it's something which will which can be grounded which means it will give you material success so this is what you have been doing pile number one in the past six months or so but how would you bring change into your present situation maybe you've started this project and you want to try something innovative and what are you supposed to do now the seven of swords talks usually talks about deception But as I see it, I think what you can do to change or bring in change during this time is to have a different approach to depending on what your project is. Maybe you'd like to take um, a different view of uh, how things were moving. If you're joining a, a particular business or if you uh, obviously when you start any uh, kind of work, you would have researched on what the trend is like. And maybe you'd like to try something completely different instead of going by the tried and tested approach. So that is what you can do to bring in some change to and some of your own unique thinking into what you're doing. It's always, you know, when uh, there are a lot of people who've done the same thing before you and there are certain tried and tested methods and you know that if you follow those guidelines, you'll never go wrong. But there is that one feeling which comes from within that you want to do something a little different. It may pay off, it may not pay off, but it's always worth taking that risk because that is what will um, make your venture or your project or whatever you're doing different from everybody else. Yes, you need to know how the whole thing is done, but you can always bring your own um, perspective into it. So that is what you need to bring into the situation now to bring in change to what you're doing. And how will you shine your light and your originality? And you've got the Ten of Swords. Now, Ten of Swords, usually when it comes uh, in a reading and that it comes upright, it uh, normally, you know, it shocks us that, okay, we've been stabbed in the back. But in this particular case, it tells you, it's related to this. So it's just telling you, that put an end to old ways of thinking and that's what this whole full moon is all about and full moon in Aquarius especially take an absolute fresh perspective on what you're doing it might seem all the people around you might say oh god you're going to do this and this is going to be a real you know it's going to bomb and it's not going to work out and you'll be a complete failure at what you do. But no, if you've actually got something which is totally different and you can resonate with that idea because it's coming from you. This idea is coming from you. So if you want to try a new approach, you should go for it. It's time to end old patterns of thinking and embrace the new for pile number one. And what can you do? And when you do this, what happens? You can see what happens. You have the six of wands. You will be victorious when you get past these old patterns and take a new perspective to this wonderful uh, project that you've landed yourself with, with whatever uh, work you've been uh, doing diligently or whatever research you've been doing or uh, maybe you've been filling resumes and sell, sending them. Whatever you've done, you've got this project. And now, with your absolute new approach to things, you are going to get success. And this is what will take you forward. And now you have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card where you've, you've, now you've worked on this, you've changed your mind, you've got success, but after a certain amount of time, after the initial, what they say, beginner's luck maybe, you find that you're working a whole lot and 
uh, you feel that you know nothing is coming after that initial uh, success that you found there's nothing much you're getting do not get put off by this this you're just on your way to progression you need to release this energy or this feeling that you know you failed in what you're doing or that you should have gone you it's very uh, easy for us to come into a space like this where we've worked a lot and we've seen a bit of sub- success and then we've after that it's a lull and it's very easy for us to revert back into this energy you know the old pattern and uh, tell yourself oh uh, you see i've uh, done something different i've dared to do something different and i thought it was going uh, well but it isn't i'm getting nowhere do it is a very natural tendency for us to do that and especially when people around you say see see whatever you said was short lived it showed you some success but see you've been working now for so long and nothing's coming please be patient everything takes time to come into fruition and see what's waiting for you now there's the nine of pentacles you will come into your power so this is what the full moon in aquarius is telling my pile one um whatever venture is coming your way you either it's either coming your way or it's already there with you take a fresh approach to it and you there will be ups and there will be lows but despite the ups and downs stick with it give it time and you will come out victorious and what is the advice for you your commitment is being tested so that resonates with this okay once you get this they want to see whether you'll stick with it because and so that's why problems might come your way or you'll just get this feeling of being uh, you know stagnant in a place nothing is working but that's where your commitment is being tested so you keep working regardless and don't let let your past hold you back so don't let these old patterns of thinking stop you from getting where you are meant to be okay so that's all i have for pile number 1 i hope this resonated with you moving on to pile number 2 this is the morgan bria tarot and the advice card from the monology deck start with the two of wands the 10 of wands the 9 of pentacles the 5 of pentacles the page of pentacles and the king of rods well pile number 2 as we enter the full moon you come to a place where you it, it's as if you've come to a crossroad you've been working for quite some time as you can see the ten of wands you're almost feeling burdened by what you've been doing and you're wondering whether this path that you've been working and putting so much of effort into whether it is actually taking you anywhere and you're contemplating this full moon what you need to do is to put down this burden and start reassessing all that you have done in the past and see and the second option that is there in your mind weigh it weigh the odds try and bring some more creativity in what you're doing i have a feeling that you're just following the rut 
and it's not giving you any joy. But there is something, um, possibly this is a conventional thing that you have been doing. Um, maybe you've been doing this job, You maybe you're getting a, st a steady salary from this particular place, but it's not giving you joy. You need something a little more creative, something to add zing into your life, and that's what you're contemplating already uh, with the beginning of this full moon. And this is exactly what you have to release because it is bringing you no joy. It may be giving you an income, but if it's going to drain off that enthusiasm from your life and you have a long life to live, right? So you can't be stuck in this energy. You have to be able to do something creative to come into this. Something which uh, charges you up. Something which, you know, brings that... Uh, that enthusiasm back. You need to have the zinc to be able to get up and do the same thing again, over and over again. If you are passionate about what you do, nobody has to get you to get up and do it. And that is what is lacking in your life right now. You're working hard. No one's saying you're not working hard. You're working a whole lot. And maybe you're um, getting a steady income. And if you're, uh, you know, the, your needs are being met by what you're doing, the needs of your family members may be met because of what you're doing, but it isn't giving you happiness. And it's been a while that you're contemplating to drop that. And that is the right thing to do. You start looking. I, I will not tell you to just drop whatever you have, uh, you know, without any backup. But you start, if you're already, uh, by this two of wands, I feel that you've already got something in mind. Work at it. Because that is going to be beneficial for you. That will make you uh, so enthusiastic that you will actually be, start getting noticed for your work. And that will take you out from this lack mindset. This rut, you're just carrying on with this because you feel that if you leave the safety of this particular job or venture, maybe you will come to this. You know, maybe you, you will have nothing and um, for all, maybe you're the breadwinner of the family and you feel that if you just give up something so comfortable, you might come into this energy, you may not, uh, you know, do well. But if you actually go behind what you're passionate about, what you've been contemplating, you will definitely come to this, the nine of pentacles. You will get all that you've been dreaming about, all that you have want, wanted will come to you because you will have that much passion while doing this particular job or whatever it is that you want to pursue. And see, when you start doing that, when you start following this, you will get even better offers. And you will be able to actually release this this mindset will just go this is what you're scared of you know but you will be able to release this mindset and you'll release this fear once you actually do something that you're passionate about and you might start off with a small rich, uh, offer and then later on you will stand in your power like the king of rods he's a man who's got it all in control he is a man who can think ahead. You'll have a lot of foresight because of all these, you've worked really hard. You've got a lot of experience with working. Now it's try, time for you to change tracks, try something different, try something in which your heart is there in it and you will definitely find success. You first get your material success and then you will stand in your power as the king of wands. There. The advice from the Moonology deck, the Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make the first move. So you've got it all worked out in your head. Just go ahead and do it, pile number two. And you will definitely have success in your life. So that's all I have for pile number two. I hope this reading resonated with you. This full moon is a time for you to just... Say goodbye to all your limiting beliefs and 
we get ready to embrace something new so that when the new moon comes you're all set to take life by the horns and now pile number three and this is the sun and moon tarot and we have your advice card from the moonology deck king of cups that's a nice way to start reading sorry the tower <laughs> i think i said that too soon two of cups the queen of cups wow this looks like a love reading the three of cups and the princess of pentacles all right hmm so as you come to the full moon, pile number three, you are in the king of cups energy. You have <clears throat> in your um, world of relationships, you are in a happy place. You are comfortable with who you are. You might not show your emotions on your face. You're extremely controlled. Maybe you have a absolute stoic appearance. But you're comfortable with who you are. You've, you know the King of Cups is a man who's in control of his emotions. He's achieved whatever he wants. He's in a happy place. And that's where you are right now. So you can give yourself a pat on the back during this full moon. But though you have reached this wonderful place, you want change to happen you want something more and that something more is growth which is going to come in the form of this tower moment what it's going to be i cannot predict but there will be some sort of a tower moment a huge shift in this a uh, calm and controlled life of yours where everything seems perfect there will be some sort of a tower moment that you will have and this will change the current situation that you are in uh, and with this two of cups that I see I feel that this king of cups is on his way his or her way to meet his or her soulmate. Maybe you are, uh, you've been thinking of somebody and the star moment will hit you when you find that that is not actually the person whom you've been thinking of, but there's somebody else that's going to come into your life and that somebody else is going to be your queen of cups. Just look at that. The king of cups gets to meet the queen of cups. Uh, when I say the King of Cups, it may be male or female, and the Queen of Cups can be male or female. Um, there's no genders here, it's just energies we're talking about. But the fact is, this is the Tower moment. I think the person you are with and whom you think is the ultimate uh, partner for you, and yet there is uh, something that is... You know, despite the fact that you've been with this person and you may have a very loving relationship with the person, maybe there's something you was that was missing and you've been wanting this change and you have manifested this change. And this is what's going to come. A tower moment will come when you actually come across your Queen of Cups who is going to be your soulmate. And... Or it could be that you there is nobody... Uh, in particular but maybe you've been and uh, though you're the king of cups but you, maybe you've uh, not been in a steady relationship and you've been um, you know generally uh, in a number of relationships but this is going to come and change all of that and you will be releasing uh, this from your life to get, you know, and you will either be given or you will give 
a solid offer to your Queen of Cups. And this is what is going to happen during this full moon or maybe after this full moon. But during this full moon, this is what you need to release. This energy, you've been, I think, in uh, a solo mode, enjoying yourself. But now it's time to possibly uh, give up this uh, free life of yours and get into something, you know, running away from commitments. This is, you're having, you're having a great time partying around, having a lot of friends, but this tower moment happens and suddenly all that seems like, you know, it's just empty because you're finally not fulfilled by this. And then the Queen of Cups comes into your life um, with an offer <laughs> which you can't refuse. And then you have your Two of Cups. So that's a beautiful reading uh, for pile number three. And what is your advice? The end of a tough cycle approaches. So in this case, I think the tough cycle was uh, your being single. Maybe you've been looking for the right person and that's why you've been in this energy all this while. And that's what's going to come to an end. You don't have to look anymore. You don't have to be in frivolous relationships anymore. But you can get into that deep relationship that you've been searching for. And finally, find that true love which will, you know, center you and which will fulfill you in every way. So that's all I have for you, pile number three. I hope this resonated with you. And coming to the last pile, pile number four. This is the original Rider weight tarot. And like the first pile, this is, uh, pile has also got two advice cards from the Monology deck. We begin with the Chariot. The Queen of Swords. The Empress, the Tower, the Queen of Wands, and the Six. So pile number fours. The last six months has seen you working diligently, focused. You've got your heart and your head together. You've got your yin and yang together and you're focused towards a particular goal and you're working really hard. But what you need to do is to get, uh, be a little honest with yourself as to what is it that you're really looking for. This particular goal that you've been uh, pursuing, is this what you really want? Once you bring that honesty into your uh, work, and get more clarity you know you're working diligently towards something but you need your goal should be absolutely clear to you you're focused in one direction but what is it that you exactly want once that is clear to you you will find that you come into your empress power a lot of abundance comes your way you know, everything that you could possibly ask for. You've actually, with your hard work, you've manifested this. And then what happens? When you've reached here with your own hard work, because you've seen, um, you know, brought clarity and complete honesty into what you're doing, you've reached this. And then what happens? And then you decide that... You've been doing the same thing for a long time. It's given you tremendous success. But you want to try your hands at something totally different. You want to do something which will, you know, which is, this is a traditional way of doing things. And you just want to do something completely different. And it's a huge risk because you're already, with whatever you've done, you've been doing so well, you've reached this, but now you really want to take a risk and do something else. And it's very strong. And you can't, and it's in fact fated. And you do take that step. And 
it feels as though it's a very foolish thing that you've done and that you know you've lost it all and for uh, temporarily you feel out of power you've uh, gone from the empress to the queen of wands but this is extremely temporary because look at you uh, riding the horse again successfully success will be yours you need to release this um, um you know basically you are in the comfort zone doing all this and there's something that you had enough of this comfort you know you find people who've got everything in their lives and and they've got their mundane work they work making a lot of money everybody looks up to them they've got it all and suddenly they just give up uh, everything and they go for something totally different either it's uh, extreme sports or they leave it and they go in for spirituality you know they leave everything sell all they have and then they go and stay in an ashram that kind of a thing so you've also achieved so much in your life but though you've got all these material comforts and you've got it because you've worked really hard for it you wanted something else and that tower moment is coming into your life but whatever it is it um uh, you know might shake your world temporarily but it does bring you success and you may feel you're dethroned for a bit or you've come down from the empress to the queen of wands but no this is something that charges you up that gives you happiness it gives you victory the victory that you are looking for so what are your advice cards your dreams need a practical plan and a personal issue reaches resolution so basically this talks about the tower moment till now whatever you've been doing you've been doing and then you've decided to change and do something totally different and it is during this time that you need a practical plan so that you don't you know suddenly you've taken a, a drastic step which is completely different from what you're doing but if you don't have a practical plan to back it up you won't find success but the best part is that you do and finally you do get your success so finally whatever you've been going through till now which is not given you satisfaction you've taken another step which is again uh, rocked your world but finally your personal issue or whatever it is that you're looking for that contentment comes back to you with this success because you have diligently and after much thought as well as putting your heart into what you're doing you have reached the you you've reached your goal this is what you wanted to do you've always been successful from the beginning but this is where your heart is and you've got victory where you want it so that's all i have for you pile number 4 this one was a bit of a tricky reading for me because everything uh, before and after the tower seems perfect so i was wondering what this full moon had to tell you so basically just said this that you've been you you're the by by for the kind of people no matter where they are they'll work and they'll get all the success that they have to be they're very diligent and hard working and focused but what they need to know is that just that is not mean give you material success but if you want satisfaction you also need to follow your heart and when you do that you may not get the kind of success that you did when you were doing all the right things in the traditional way the success may be a little lesser when you follow your heart but the kind of satisfaction you get and the feeling of victory that you get is unparalleled so that's all i have for you pile number 4 i hope this resonated with you i keep forgetting to tell all the piles and uh, um, i mean all, all the groups as well as uh, before the reading starts to please like comment share and subscribe if the reading resonated with you so at least in conclusion let me 
say that that if any of the readings um, have resonated with you, please do like, comment, subscribe and share. And that's all I have for you. I hope that this full moon in Aquarius uh, helps you reassess where you, you're going, your, what you've done. Please be kind to yourself. Whatever mistakes made in the past doesn't matter. This is the time for you to assess everything so that you can, you know, set an intent in the coming new moon. So that's all I have for you. Bye-bye.